Hello, this is 5 News, I'm James Partridge. The Queen has outlined government plans for the last session of Parliament before the general election. The measures include free personal care for elderly and disabled people and a crackdown on bankers' bonuses. The man in charge of protecting children online says Facebook and MySpace should do more to keep kids safe. He's disappointed the social networking sites haven't followed Bebo. It's included a panic button on its site which allows children to report suspected online abuse and bullying. This button in the right place at the right time makes children safer. This button reassures parents. This button deters offenders. It's free, it's easy. A house in California has been cut in half after a crane collapsed on it. The crane, weighing 44 tonnes, was pulled down when part of a tree it was lifting broke free. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Now there's only 37 days left until Christmas and the festive films are already being released. Martin Freeman and Alan Carr star in the movie Nativity, but as Steve Hargrave found out, it's the child actors who really steal the show. You see, it's gonna be a merry, merry Christmas. It's Christmas time, or at least it nearly is, which means the festive films have arrived. This British offering is Nativity, a largely improvised kids' comedy about a hapless teacher trying to put on a huge school play. It stars that man from The Office, Martin Freeman. Martin, lovely to see you. Thank you. Uh, it's November the 18th. Uh, is it too early for Christmas? It is a bit for me. Yeah? A little bit. I kind of like, I like it to start December the 1st. It's the start of it. So your me. tree's not up yet? God, no. No, 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 no. I do the 12 days of Christmas. I do the 12-step programme. Yeah. But not too early to talk about the Christmas film. No, no, it's never too early to talk about me. I think some days they absolutely just assume I was a teacher, you know, and I, and I was the person who was going to be leading them through this exercise for a couple of months or whatever, you know. There was a real blur between fiction and reality for them. Because if you're five or six, I don't know, you know, I don't know, who knows what's going on in your mind? You know, anything could be going on in your mind. Actually, the children are the real scene stealers in Nativity. Surprisingly, most of them had no previous acting experience. Unsurprisingly, some of them now can't get enough of being in front of the camera. I've been told to worry about working with children on camera. Should I be all right? Yeah. OK, all right. And keep you nice and smooth. Now, looking at actors, who are your acting heroes? I think maybe... Chino, De Niro, Brando, are these people you look up to? Probably Will um, Smith. Will Smith. Um, yeah, Will Smith, Zac Efron, David Tennant. Well, it's time for Zac Efron to move over. He's getting older and he's losing his looks. Who's taking his place? Me. <laughs> ah, the confidence of youth. And yes, there is lots of singing and dancing in this film, so he could resist. Show me some of his moves before I went. Ow! <laughs> it's pretty special. Martin Freeman can't do that, can he? <laughs> Nativity's already being sold as this year's sleeper festive comedy. Look, it even features the acting debut of comedian Alan Carr. Hopefully, it might just get us all in the festive spirit. Excited. Steve Hargrave, 5 News. That's it from me. We'd like your thoughts on this bulletin. Email us, news at 5.tv. Natasha's here at 5. Lucy's got the weather now. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.